Hello everyone, I'm Quintel Buffalo and welcome to three, maybe four, game demos. The first one we're playing is called Rotato and listen to that funky music. <laughs> so this one is a top-down arena shooter where we're essentially a potato. So let's go kick some ass. Wow, we've got quite the variation. Ew, a mutant. So each of them have their positive and negatives except for the average. This guy, oh, you can't equip any melee weapons. You know what? Let's go big and loud. <laughs> so we've got an extra 30% damage, but there's 50% more enemies. It's a demo. Let's go big. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's got quite a few weapons. Oh, there's too much selection for me. So I might want to go with something that's perfect accuracy, or should we go with our fist? The only issue is that I'd have to be close to them. Now let's go with the spear. I'm happy with it. Oh god, we're already... Oh gee, we're already in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it just attacks automatically. I just need to run around. God, they threw me in. <laughs> this is all like vampire survivors again, but different. So I do see where they're going to spawn. What is all this green stuff? Oh, it was a wave. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That threw me off so much. Oh, and I can choose to get a weapon, but I might just keep my spear. And I suppose I can increase any number of these. Is it just one item per? Oh, I don't. I don't increase them. It's just what I got. I don't really want... I want to keep my, my spear. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> Jesus... Yeah, the cooldown, what was it, one second? It feels much longer than that. So much longer. Oh, lordy. Oh, gosh, they do a lot of damage. Oh, I'm almost dead. I just need to survive. Ah! Ah! Oh, God, no, please. Okay. <laughs> we're going to try one more time, but with a different weapon. That was a lot of enemies. Um, and yeah, we're going to change the other person as well. One armor plus five melee damage. We're going to be the warrior this time, but we can't equip range items, which is fine. The, fit, the fist just seems too risky. I think we're going to go with the knife, though, but it is still really close range. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And it only attacks when it has the opportunity to. Oh, the knife ain't that bad. I'm here talking that is going to be terrible, but no. It is perfectly fine. I need to... Oh, I get the XP when, when it's done, I think. <laughs> uh, we're not going to buy anything. I'm sure we can survive the second wave, unlike my predecessor, because there was a lot of enemies. <laughs> I was not ready for that. I threw myself way into the deep end. <laughs> Don't know what I was thinking. I just thought maybe I had the inspiration of vampire survivors and I just knew what I was doing. Don't believe anything I say. It is not true. Oh, God. I assume that's a money tree. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. A nose. <laughs> um, so I can either choose to have a nose nails or speed i think i'm gonna go with a bit more speed thank you <laughs> you know what let's go with the torch i don't know oh wait i have both i guess i have two hands don't i makes sense <laughs> oh whoa, 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 whoa. so i could have one melee and one range well not with this guy because i can't pick up ranged items the arena is so small. It would be nice. Um, I know this is just a demo. And I don't think the full game has yet been released. But it would be nice if there were more arenas. Um, I, I don't know how many enemies there are. I assume the, the higher I get in terms of rounds and levels, the stronger the enemies are for one and maybe larger enemies will turn up but like i said it is a very small area uh let's get some dodge oh i get two oh because i leveled up Ooh, let's get some crit some crit going i'm already quite accurate aren't i 
I was thinking about getting the glasses, but it takes away 1% life steal, which I don't have any anyway. So I think I'll just get it. I don't know how many... Let me see what happens if I get the stick. Am I all... Whoa! Oh, I actually get to hold three items. Oh! Oh, that's a new guy. They definitely brought in new enemies. <laughs> and these ones do range attack. No. And they run away. No, that's too clever for my liking. They know how to protect themselves. I don't like that. Can you kill them, please? Ouch! They do so much damage. Ooh, I got an apple. Oh, if I destroy the tree, I get food. Smart. Okay, I need that... <laughs> whatever that meal is. I don't know what food that is, but I needed it. <laughs> it's basically my floor chicken all over again. Did I not get that meal? Oh, it's still going to stay there, I guess. Oh, extra damage, please. And um, let's just get some HP regen because I ain't got none. How fast am I before I get the helmet? Oh, three. Oh, minus 5%. Which 5% is a lot, but I don't know if my stats are a percentage or not. Does this upgrade my... Oh, it does not upgrade my knife. Oh, that... Why can't I get weapon upgrades? I feel like that's something that would be very helpful. To have weapon upgrades. I don't know how as a potato, for one, I'm holding one weapon, let alone four. <laughs> oh, I'm running around and wearing glasses. That's, there's just a lot of things that are strange. I don't even know what these things are that I'm fighting. Oh, God, they did a lot of damage. I need a tree. I forget what my disadvantage is. Oh, I can't hold my, um, ranged weapons. Which doesn't seem that bad, but I guess having a ranged weapon would be very nice, considering I can hold many items. I thought it was... Oh, my dive! I thought it was only a one item thing. Okay, really fun game, bro Tato. So we're going to move on to the next game. The next game we're playing is called Shin Lotion Samurai, which is a slippery samurai who is filled his body or lubricated his body and he just slips around on the floor attacking. <laughs> I don't know what he just asked me. <laughs> I could have just signed my life away for all I know. I'm covered in lotion and can't walk. But we're in trouble if we don't get out. Kick in the direction you want to go to proceed. <laughs> Excuse me, what is this? What am I... Oh my gosh. When you kick in the wall, it slides vigorously. What am I playing? The main character is a master of swords. Just bump into enemies and if you slay a lot of enemies, it will split out the location of the key. It will spit out the location of the key. Let's slash a lot of them and make them tell us where the key is. Excuse me? Whose brain? Whose brain is this? God, the music's so loud. Why is the music so loud? Someone spent their time creating this game for why i don't know <laughs> but we're here enjoying it <laughs> the greater you escape the better the rating will be that's it for the tutorial now let's enjoy the full story <laughs> what is going on okay let's what 99 minutes what roar the lotion escape the explosion hell <laughs> Nobunaga, who slipped, okay, very clever, back in time to the Heian period through the machinations of Takeda Shinjin, was captured by Abi Saimi. I'm sorry, I'm going to say these names completely wrong. He was captured by Abi Saimi, and as a result of repeated magical modifications, he was turned into a slippery samurai. Then an opportunity to escape presents itself. Kick the walls, slide, and escape from... Hain Koi. Hain Koi? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to say these names. Whoa, slip! I, what, whose brain creates these things? I know my... Oh, I didn't get everyone. Damn it. Why am I enjoying this though? Wait, is there explosions? What's going on? <laughs> Wait, 
Wait, is four seconds the best time? Huh? 13 seconds? Or is it just adding up my total? Come on. Come on, move. Ah, no, I'm gonna die. Okay, I died. I, my booty was not hitting the corners. <laughs> oh my lord. No, seriously though, why am I enjoying this? <laughs> why is this so chaotic? But I'm enjoying it. The next stage is playable. Thank you. Ooh, I got five stars. <laughs> Abby seems that Yin Yang magic was locked up in every corner of Hai Koi. Slay and intimidate the masked ninjas. Make them tell you where the keys are and escape. <laughs> Why have I just got a ninja's booty in my face like this? This is not normal. How do I... Oh, do I need to get... Oh, the key. I see you up there. <laughs> Don't you try and escape from me. Woo, let's go. Oh, my lord. Woo. Oh, oh. I'm just clicking. I don't even... <gasps> what? What? <laughs> I'm trying to give him the slip. <laughs> Got him. Good job, us. Wait, who's this golden samurai? And how do I get him? Oh, does it take away three seconds or does it add three seconds? How am I meant to get this guy? I guess I'm just meant to kill as many of the samurais as I can. And they eventually spit out. <laughs> oh, key! No! Ah! I'm getting stuck in my corners. <laughs> oh, I got him! <laughs> what? Oh my god, I'm having too much fun. I can't even explain this game. It's just a lot. <laughs> oh, we're on the last one already! <laughs> Showdown. After receiving a report that the lotion samurai had escaped, Abisimi, Absemai, Absimi stayed up all night training to master the arts of yin yang. As a result, he was able to use his telekinesis to send many shuriken flying. As a result, he was able to use his telekinesis to fly many shuriken. We just said that, but it's like you're trying to extend your word count for an exam or a coursework. <laughs> but he was still not good at hitting moving objects. I assume the person who created this English may not have been their first language. So I'm not like shaming them for that. I just find it funny <laughs> that I can make that relation because it's something I've done when I was at uni. Ah, get him, get him, damn it. So close, but yet so far. Nice. Oh, damn it. We had a counter attack. No, get out of here. Okay, don't. I need to make sure I hit the corner. There we go. Get out. I have to kill him more than once. Yeah, you're killing me. <laughs> How did I do that? Hit the corner. Nicely done. Nicely done. This is a good game. Oh, this is great. Thank you for creating this. Whoever did this, that was Slippery Samurai. <laughs> that was so much fun. <laughs> Right, we're going to do one more demo, I think. <laughs> this game is called The Wandering Village. We're a group of survivors living on the back of majestic creatures on a mysterious spore-covered land. So let's head in. Oh, it's got a cutscene. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Hello friend, my name is Umbers Mumblemore <laughs> and I am the village elder here. Our people, the Nyamans, have travelled far and endured many hardships throughout the years. But now we have come across an Onbu, an ancient beast believed to have gone extinct centuries ago. The poor thing seems exhausted and has gone back to sleep for now. Seems like we need to take care of each other from now on. My experience has brought our people here, but now it's time for you to take over and lead them to a better place. Oh, I've got a notebook? Of course I do! 
Try to survive as long as you can. To do so, you'll have to provide your villagers with shelter and food, research new technologies and scavenge materials from all kinds of biomes. Also, don't forget to take care of Onbu, your giant companion. If all your villagers or Onbu die, it's game over. Alright, okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, Onbu view! Wow, look at him. Oh my gosh. And this is our world? So, what I know is that Onbu does move around. So, we will be visiting new terrains at all times. Look at my little villagers, aren't they cute? Ah, okay. <laughs> we need to create some houses. There we go. We got uh, some tents going up, but we also need to chop some trees. So how do I do this? Do they just get it themselves? How does one get people to chop trees? Click and drag with the harvest tool. Oh, oh, I see. Let's get rid of these trees. Well, let's not get rid of them. We just need to chop them down for now. Not too many though, because Onbu needs their... I assume it's like their hair. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at it. So this was created by a small team. I believe it was, um, it's either Finland, Sweden. I'm sorry, I can't remember. I'll, I'll put a little note <laughs> because I've already forgotten. I really apologize. I'm terrible. Poison resistance. Okay, I guess we need to worry about poison in a tent. Your people need food. Stockpile at least 60 berries. Whoa, why did the music why did the music do that? But how am I meant to get berries? So we need to create a pantry. Oh, I've got to destroy some trees to get my pantry in. Didn't realize it did that. <laughs> and how do we collect berries? Oh, I'm already stockpiling berries. Where are these guys getting the berries from? Well, they know better than I do. I just don't know how they're getting it. Oh, he's happy. Or she. I don't mean to assume. Um, does that mean we need wood? Oh, stone. Oh, and a bit of wood as well. I kind of feel, like, scared to go out here to get the stone, but we need it. Let's just get a couple. Oh, there's the berries. How many do they give, actually? Oh, only two. Oh, I need a couple. I assume they're not going to get rid of the berry bush. They're merely going to pick them. At least I hope so. How am I stockpiling so many berries when I don't have space for them in my pantry? I guess they're just sitting on the edge. Whoa. Oh, is he getting up? Oh, he's moving! Oh! Let's go check out his view. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? Wow. Okay. This is a really interesting concept for a game. Oh, it's getting night time. Ooh! A dune and a mine. Oh my gosh, I can send people out? I assume the Onbu will stop eventually and do like do their own thing. So are we in the desert right now? Is that why we're not producing any water? Wait, who's that? Nomads. You picked up a group of nomads who joined your village. Population level up. Your villagers needs have increased. Oh. Have at least one research building. Oh, they get me me. They get me to do everything. Onbu, are you okay? Oh, he's just sat down. He's done traveling for the day. Okay. <laughs> oh, Onbu, rest. Is he actually? It seems like he got up. That don't seem like no rest. Onbu, moving. <laughs> he picked up a group of nomads. Many are poisoned and will die soon if they aren't cured by a village doctor. Oh my gosh. Can they go straight to the doctor, please? We got someone in the doctor's office, actually? Oh, we got one person. Where am I meant to get herbs from? How does one find herbs? <laughs> this is new. I don't... I don't know where to get these from. Ew, there's one of the ill ones. Oh, you better stay away from everyone else. Okay, so my scavenger hut is now made. So, I need to find herbs. I just don't know how they managed to come back. Because this thing is moving. So how do they just go out? Okay, my team are ready to go out. Let's see if we can find... I want to find herbs. Just go check out this forest. <laughs> God, this is a long demo. 
Oh, they brought back 16 mushrooms. Nice. You haven't exactly found what I want you to find. But it's fine. I don't know where I'm meant to get these herbs from so that the doctors can use them. Okay. Because this demo is super long. I don't know how much more I have left of it, but I'm going to end it there. So this game, I think, has incredible potential. I don't know how much more they have to develop it, but this is a really interesting concept. The fact that you're living off the back of a beast. Sorry, a majestic creature. And it's taking you to different areas of land. And you can encounter many things. I see we can encounter enemies, monsters. I don't really know. But this is really interesting. Like I said, it's been going on for a very long time, so I'm going to end it there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the three demos that I have played today. <laughs> Two of them were super crazy and one of them was just insane. This one was quite calming. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be seeing you.